Smile on my face, man. Smile on my face. This is day three of me quitting weed, bro. Day three. We gonna keep this shit going, man. I got y'all. We in this together. We in this together. I can't do this without y'all. I can't. Um, My whole point is to bring y'all this vid these videos is I wanted to hold a bigger responsibility. Um, I told y'all I tried to quit smoking weed probably 10, 15 times out my life and I never got past a day. I'll probably stop smoking for like 10, 11 hours and then I'll be right back smoking because it was just that easy to get and it was always around me. Um, but look, man, this is day three. Day one and day two was very, very stressful and depressing. Um, I y'all just go, y'all could go watch them videos. I'm about to strictly talk to y'all about what happened yesterday leading up until this morning. Um, yesterday when I dropped that video for y'all, after I dropped that video, I instantly went to LA Fitness. I went to LA Fitness. I was working out and hooping for a good two, three hours. Um, after I got done working out and hooping, when I was done, I came back home took a shower, I was feeling more relaxed and good, but it all went away. I was right back stressed and depressed. And um, I found myself laying around again. I was laying around. I was laying around and doing nothing, just thinking about how I was feeling. That's what, that's what happens when you sit in the same spot. You're just going to be thinking about how you're feeling and weed. And um, it would make you want to relapse. And uh, if you don't know what, re what relapse means, for if you're a younger guy, relapse me and make you want to do that again. You know, but uh, after I got that good workout in, I came back home, took a shower, then I just chilled. I told y'all when you stop smoking weed, it just feel like there is nothing to do in life, bro. It's like you have no motivation. You have a lack of drive. And um, I was just chilling, bro. I was just chilling. Um, for some of y'all that don't know, I meditate. I've been told y'all. I be making third eye jokes all the time on my main channel. For some of y'all that don't know either, for all y'all that's new coming at me with this journey, I got another channel. I almost got 900,000 subscribers. This is my second channel. Um, but anyway, I, I just found myself in bed again, bro. I was in bed. I was stressed and I was still depressed. No appetite. Couldn't eat anything, really. Um... These are the protein shakes I be drinking right here. This the vanilla kind, but they got chocolate too. I drink like four of these. Try to get some calories and protein in my system. They got Boost, and then they got some called Ensure. Y'all should know. But uh, these is like meal replacements if you can't eat or if you ain't got no appetite or whatever. But uh, when I got back home or whatever, man, I was just found myself in bed laying around again, and that's the last thing you want to do. And uh, I'm going to tell y'all, bro, out of nowhere, somebody had rung my doorbell, right? So, let me tell y'all this. Weed has made me lazy, right? Yesterday, somebody rung my doorbell. Now, all I do is walk and I look at the camera and see who it is. Nobody knows where I live at, right? It was a landscaping guy. He was basically going door to door, handing out his little paper, asking if anybody needed some work done to their yard because he got good deals going on. I want to sit here and I promise you, if I was still smoking weed, I wouldn't have wasted my time or day to go and answer that door or anything. But the fact that I was had nothing to do, it's like, it's like God brought him to my door. It's like Jesus, somebody brought him to my door, bro. And um, I opened the door. Like I actually opened the door and I was talking to him. I would have never done that, bro, if I was still smoking weed. Bro, there is no way I'm going to waste my time on some landscaping shit when I don't. It's like that was like the last thing I was thinking about. And um, I was talking to him. I was talking to him about the deals he had going on. And I, I wanted him to do my yard. I'm like, yeah. But this is the thing. The yard work that he was doing for me, I supposed to have been done that shit myself months ago. But the fact that I was always laying around smoking weed and doing this and doing that. But the responsibilities that I had to take care of was pushed away. I didn't care about none of that. I was just high off. I was just high as hell and I was just living life. And um, I'm going to let y'all know, I was still living a good life while I was high. I was still traveling, doing what I wanted to do. But my work ethic went from a fucking 99% to a 60%. So shit that I really wanted to do, I push away. Shit that I knew I had to do, I push away. Because I, I'll be high. I'm not thinking about none of that shit, you know? And you know, everybody feel, everybody get different effects from weed. Like, I seen a lot of people saying, man, why you making it sound like weed is crack? Man, weed was crack to me. I was on that shit. Nigga, I was hooked. 
bro, I wanted weed more than sex, bro. Like, you niggas would be like, where the bitches? I'm like, where the weed at? You know what I'm saying? That's how I was. And, um, man, I told I had to eat. I had to smoke to eat. I had to smoke to watch a movie. Like, movies weren't the same if I wasn't high. Um, I wasn't interested in a lot of shit when I'm not high. Like, if I'm high, shit that's, 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 I won't be interested in, I'm interested in. It make everything that much better, you know? So when you take it away from you, it's like you have nothing to look forward to. Nothing is entertaining. Nothing is funny. And, um, but look, so the yard guy, the, 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 uh, the landscaper dude knocked on my door. I was talking to him about what he had going on. And I, I told him, yeah, I want you to do my yard. But the fact that I was so bored, I volunteered to help him. My nigga, I was outside pulling weeds and shit yesterday, bro. I would have never done that, bro. But the fact that I kept myself busy, I wasn't thinking about weed. Like, while I was out there helping him, I was all hot and sweaty and a little irritated. And I was like, man, I'm about to go in the house. But weed was not on my mind. It wasn't. And then... After after the fact, like when I got done this shit, because I live in Arizona, it'd be like 100 degrees outside. So when you outside, you got to hurry up and get your ass in the house. It's that simple. But uh, after I got done, we did our whole yard for like, it was like, it took like almost three hours. And um, I was just chopping it up with him. And he was just telling me a whole bunch of stuff. He was a good, genuine dude. And it's crazy. If I was high, I would have never got to know that guy. He was a good dude, man. And I appreciate him. I appreciate him for helping me get through yesterday because it was real stressful until he came. After he had left, I came back in, took another shower because I was all sweaty and shit. And um, honestly, I was feeling better about myself. Uh, I was using him for example, as in like, if you keep yourself occupied, you could really, really get through it. No matter what, you still gonna feel stressed and depressed. You still gonna feel it. But if you do something, it'll take it. It'll take that feeling away temporary. You know. You know how you know how weed numbs your pain and shit temporary? That's how it is when you quit weed. When you do shit, it numbs that shit temporary. But you just want to get through that day. If you sit here in bed all day doing nothing, you're going to be thinking about depression and all that. Now, the messed up part about it is after a while, like an hour later and shit, after he had left, I took a shower and shit. I was right back to it. I was feeling the same way. I was still feeling depressed, still feeling stressed. And all that shit. And, it, and it's like a come and go. Do y'all feel that too? Like sometimes it feel more intense than other times of the day. Like when you wake up in the morning, it's super intense. The withdrawals is crazy. But like during the day and shit, it go away. You don't feel nothing. But like then a the night come and you feel it, it be intense again. Now, that night yesterday, last night was hell. I still couldn't sleep. I still was having cold sweats. I went to sleep like around three, but I did get more hours of sleep. I got five hours of sleep and I didn't take no sleeping pills. Um, I also was drinking a lot of water. This is the water I be drinking. I've been drinking a lot of water. I've been pissing clear. You know, so I've been pissing water, trying to clear my system up the best way I can. But uh, yesterday was a real, real draggy day in my mind until that man came to my door and I called myself helping him with the yard. I went to go work out. So the only time I'm really, really feeling stressed is when I'm not doing nothing. And um, at first, day one or day two, there is no way in hell I could have done anything, man. Depression took over. Uh, here it is right now, day three. I woke up this morning feeling great. Um, it's something that's different. It's something that's different in here. It's like I'm coming back to normal. And um, it's like now I know I woke up and I knew I wasn't going to be smoking. I knew the weed was gone compared to... Day one and day two, I knew the same thing, but I felt like I couldn't do it. I felt like I couldn't not smoke. I felt like I was losing the battle. Day three, I feel way better. And um, I want to let y'all know y'all could do it, bro. And the, the reason why I told y'all that story about the landscaping, dude, I know that wasn't really nothing big to y'all. Y'all probably like, okay. But I just want y'all to know if you do something and you stay active, you will. If you stay active, work out, and just try to do something during the day, even if you ain't got no friends or something, just try not to be at home. Try not to be in the spot you used to smoke at. Try not to be... And I recommend not being around a lot of people because everybody is irritating to me right now. Everybody. I'm just, I, I've just been in an irritated mood, and that's what we do to you. That's what withdrawals do to you. You be irritated. Um, right now, I feel real good. I feel more energy. Um, I feel like I can, I can get up and go do something. Um, 
I, I'm, I for sure, I'm, I'm about to be back posting vids. Like, I could feel it. Like, I got them vibes again. Like, I feel like I'm high off life. And um, I can't wait till tomorrow, bro. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I haven't felt this way. It felt like I haven't felt this way in a long time, and it's only been three days. Um, I want to let y'all know, man, we can do it, bro. We can do this shit. Just keep yourself busy. Drink a lot of water. You're not going to have no appetite, and you're still not going to be able to sleep. Those two things right there, you can't eat or sleep. That is deadly. You have to get you some protein shakes. Get some meal replacements. Go. They sell them at Walmart everywhere. Uh, they got Boost Insure. I recommend it, bro. You do not want to just sit around and not eat nothing. That is unhealthy. If you're not going to eat shit and you still don't want to take protein or something and you want to eat like little meals or something, like a little bit of shit, at least you can do is work out, build muscle, replace the losing weight with muscle. You know what I'm saying? Motivational, motivational soul in the building, man. But overall, I'm feeling good. Uh, my girl going to be back today, so we about to get some videos for y'all. Um... I, I separated myself from all the people that I used to smoke with and shit. I don't really talk to none of them no more. Uh, just make sure you don't be around. You are who you hang with, bro. Remember that. Um, I want to let y'all know y'all could do it, man. I want to let y'all know y'all could do it. Yesterday was still tough for me. It wasn't easy. It was still tough. But um, it was just like a wake-up call, man. It was crazy how now that I'm sober, I'm starting to handle my responsibilities that I, I've been supposed to been doing. But uh, and that's why I told y'all, bro. I wanna be my, I wanna be true to myself. I wanna be back, myself. And uh, I feel good, bro. I feel good right now. I know them urges gonna still come today. It's still gonna come. It's gonna come and go. It ain't not gonna go nowhere. It's gonna come in your head. But I know I can't get the weed, so I'm good. Um, I wanna let y'all know, man. I can't do this without y'all. This is day three. I see y'all tomorrow, man. Soluminati signing out. Simple.